So this is a transverse scan at the uh, distal third of the forearm in a patient who had the previous uh, carpal tunnel release. And we can see here the, the, the median nerve uh, going towards the tunnel. We see that uh, there is a persistent swelling uh, of the median nerve, but in, in this case the patient had a very long standing uh, compression and after release the nerve remained uh, uh, swollen uh, pro as a probable result of uh, 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 fibrotization of the uh, uh, intraneural uh, structure. Uh, 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 as soon as we cross the distal edge of the tunnel, uh, we see uh, an accessory branch, the uh, motor branch, uh, swollen in this particular ca case arising from the radial side of the median nerve and then going more superficially uh, to supply the, the uh, tenor muscle. And we see the atrophy of the tenor muscle. This is the abductor um, uh, olysis brevis. Uh, in a deeper position, we can see uh, the um, op op opponent's pollicis. You see some fasciculations here. And finally, around the flexor, uh, policies longer stand and we see the atrophy of the flexor policies brevis.